hello guys welcome back in today's video we're going to be discussing how you can calculate your ECTS which is the European credit transfer and accumulation system though there is no standardized way of calculating this ECTS credits in Nigeria but thankfully most of our Nigerian universities make us take courses that are not even necessary sometimes so we don't have to worry too much about the credits the ECTS credits in my class, we are four Nigerians and we're the only ones not taking the additional 30 ECTS. The additional 30 ECTS means that most students don't have the complete ECTS requirement. So when they get here, they have to do um, extra courses to make up for the 30 ECTS that they don't have. And for some schools, they require different ECTS for different courses. I think I applied to one school one time that says I must have like 30 ECTS for economics another like 10 for mathematics and so you in those cases you would need to actually calculate it to know if you meet the ECTS requirement so a rule of thumb is to multiply your credit units by 1.5 take for instance you have echo 101 which is three units you have echo 201 which is five units or echo 405 which is another three units and your project six units and stuff just Add all the units together and multiply by 1.5. You should be good with that. But if in your case you have to calculate the ECTS credit for different courses, then yours will need some more calculation. In summary, one year of studies is equal to 60 ECTS credits, while a three year bachelor's program is equal to 180 ECTS credits, and a four year bachelor's program is equal to 240 ECTS credits. And remember that one ECTS is equal to 30 study hours. An example from this school in Hamburg says that primary studies must be equivalent to 180 ECTS credits, which is at least six semesters. So this one is pretty straightforward. And recall that a three-year bachelor's program is equal to 180 ECTS credits. However, if you still want to calculate it, you can bring out your transcript and what I did for mine was I counted the number of the two unit courses I did and the number of three unit courses I did and the two unit courses were 28 in number while the three unit courses were 38 in number and then I multiplied by the number of units and this is what I got and the project stood alone because it's a six unit course and then I added all which is 56 plus 114 plus 6 which is 176 and I multiplied it by 1.5 and that's how I got the 260 ECTS credit. So the total number of ECTS credits I obtained in my bachelor's degree is 260. Another example here is from a course in international management. The total ECTS required is 180 in business or economics with an average mark of 2.9. We're going to discuss how to convert your grades into a German grade later, but for now we're working with this ECTS. And it says here that the minimum requirements are 60 ECTS in business or economics, 5 ECTS in law, and 10 ECTS in mathematics or statistics. So you're going to have to calculate to see if you meet this exact minimum requirement for the courses mentioned here. To calculate the ECTS, you add the lecture hours per week with the self-study hour per week and multiply it by the number of weeks in a semester. For the self-study hour, there's no straight rule for this, but people believe that you know you should put in as much work as you put in class outside of class. So you can use the same number of hours for your lecture hours and your self-study hour. I personally believe it should be more because you should put in more work yourself than you do in class. But to be on the safe side, you can make the hours for the lecture and the self-study the same. Then again, two unit courses are usually given three hours of lecture per week, while a three unit course is usually given four hours lecture per week. And the number of weeks in a semester is usually around three to four months. So you can check your departmental handbook if you need more information. So once you know the number of hours of lecture and the number of self-study hours, we can work with this table. So for instance, let me use one course, ECHO 405. I have the number of hours per week for lecture to be 4 and the number of hours per week for self-study as 4 and the number of weeks in a semester as 16. So you multiply 4 by 16, you get 64. You also do the same for 
to study hours 4 by 16, you get 64. You add the 64 together, you get 128 hours in total. We call that in the first video, we said that 1 ECTS equals to 30 study hours. Divide the 128 hours by the 30 hours and you get 4.26 ECTS credits. This is an example of how you can work out your ECTS credit. Again, you can manipulate the study hours because I personally think that it should be more, but we also don't want to inflate it because there is no proof of that. But for my masters, I know that the study hours is way more than the lecture hours. And this is how to calculate your ECTS in details. And remember, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that by now you know how to calculate your ECTS. And in my next video, I'm going to be discussing how you can convert your Nigerian grades, which is the CGPA, into a German grading system. Until then, make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends that you think might find this useful. Bye.